Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be giving you some suggestions on how you can use HubSpot for real estate activities. So let's get right into it. Now you have a couple of different things you can use. You do have their built in CRM system, which you can use to best manage your customers. So let me just start off with showing you that uh, you can go into the CRM and you can add contacts and deals and tickets, which are useful for setting up a pipeline. Now uh, to contacts, you can add whichever people are interested for some real estate. Uh, you can set up a form if you have a real estate site. And then from that form, you can get their contact information to send them offers through their email or just better manage them through the CRM. Once you have your contacts, which usually, usually includes their name, their email, their phone number, the owner of the contact, which is usually going to be you and their primary company which they most likely will not have unless you're selling real estate to companies then you're going to go ahead and just start managing your contacts so we're going to go into deals and this is where you can set up your uh, deals for real estate this is where you're going to set up specific uh, real estate uh, deals as i've mentioned i repeated myself there i'm sorry for that but you can set up certain properties which you can then forward into deals if you want to so you can create a deal i already have some test deals so i won't go into uh specifics and i won't create new ones and you can also add close dates if you want to uh and you can segment that however you would like or need uh you can add a close date uh usually it is recommended or required to add however you can add whichever date you want and set it all the way in the future which is your deadline for selling the real estate if you have one if not just set one for far in the future and you should be good now once you get that you can go over into tickets and this is where you have your pipeline where you can organize your deals based on the customers that are related to or you can uh, well customize the uh what are they called like uh, viewings of those properties so you can just go ahead and create a ticket and add the information that you need for example ticket name you can call it whatever you want uh, call it with the people that are coming to preview the property and the property name uh, you can add it to the pipeline uh which you want or whichever pipeline you want then the status which you're going to do if they're elite if you uh, have them and they have contacted you you can set them to new or waiting on contact uh, so that you can respond to them once they uh, once you respond to them you can then click waiting on us uh, so that you can send them uh, something and I confuse the two waiting on contact is if you're waiting for them to contact you and waiting on us is if you need to respond to them and they've already contacted you then you can click closed or set it to close if you uh, close the deal and you are selling the real estate and you can just drag the deals or tickets around it really doesn't matter you can add the description add any uh, necessary info you need as well as the source the ticket owner the priority you can also select a create date if you need it and then select the contact which you were using for that real estate for example that and then click create and once that creates it's going to be added into the pipeline and then you can manage that for real estate viewings for deals etc etc and as i've mentioned you can go ahead and add it to whichever sort of pipeline segment you would like you can also add new ones i'm pretty sure however i still didn't uh well figure out how to add more views so you can just add views if you want and customize them to your uh, content. And that is pretty much how you can manage your uh, real estate. You can also add invoices, create invoices, create payments, manage payments, etc. However, that is much more complex and I don't have the time to go over that. But that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.